Okay, so in this video, I'll talk about query function again, and I'll uh, basically show you how we can build a SQL in like statement. So what does in like statement do, right? So let's say we have this data and we have a list of states we would like to select out of this data. So I want to be able to come here and say states and basically list some states And whatever states I list, I want to just pull the transactions from those states only in my function. So there is no in like statement. So usually in SQL language, you do select and then you do all, you know, whatever columns you're going to need, right? And then you say uh, where. Uh, you know, your whatever column it is, in this case states, it will say it's in and in parentheses you give comma separated states like Illinois, uh, California, etc. So you would have something like this. But this doesn't work in sheets because it's not really SQL language. It's kind of like it, but it's not exactly the same. So what we'll have to do instead, we will have to use or statements. So what does that mean? So if I use my regular function and I go and select my data first, and I'm gonna select from here, control shift right and down and maybe F4 for good practice, comma, and then this is where we're gonna write our select statement. So for now, I'm going to say select A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, and then we'll do like F, those columns, close this, and finally, how many columns do we have as headers? One we have on top, close this, hit enter, and that should hopefully retrieve our states. So it's thinking about it. Okay, so that didn't work because there's too many rows to be inserted, but that doesn't matter, so uh, that's fine. So uh, as a result, what we basically want, let's actually get the final thing. The final thing for us is going to be uh, to expand this and we're going to say where, uh, which one was that column state. So one uh, state was D column. So I'm going to go back here. We're going to say where D equals, and this is where you will do your like, something like this. And that should get us just the results from Illinois, right? And there it is, now it fits and it expanded the data so it fits. So this just gets us the results from Illinois. Now what we're gonna have to do to also get the results from California, we're gonna have to do or D equals California. Right, so again, it's inserting more rows. It's too much data here, sorry about that. And then we go again and or D equals NV or D equals NY. Let it insert more rows for us. There we go. So we're good. So now we got all those states. So that's pretty much what we're trying to do. Only we want to avoid writing all the stuff because what we want to do, we want to be able to point to this range of uh, whatever states we put here and just update automatically without having to uh, worry about how many actually states we have in this range. So if we decide let me actually insert a few more rows here. If we decide we're gonna add like three more, we want to be able to add three more and we want it to work. 
just like that. So what we need to do, basically, we have to dynamically build this string where it says where d equals il or d equals ca or d equals mv or d equals my. That string we're going to have to build dynamically. So for that, we'll use our join function. So I'm going to say join. And for a delimiter, uh, for now, I'm going to use uh, or d equals and then that single code that I had and close that and that's gonna be my delimiter and then comma and then I'm gonna do this range of values right here so I'm gonna select more here just in case I'm adding more close this hit enter so what I'm getting is, see, uh, I got the Illinois there, or D equals CA or D. So basically, I'm missing a space between the or. So I'm going to do a space here, hit enter. So I got or D equals CA. What I wanted after CA was uh, basically apostrophe here because this text, it needs to be in quotes, right? And I also need my Illinois to be in quotes so after Illinois I need apostrophe so I did space or what I wanted was apostrophe space or so I'm gonna go back here and do apostrophe space or hit enter and that's or d equals ca or d equals nv or d equals my or d equals that's all the spaces so the problem is I don't want those spaces so for that, we can use join text, or is it called text join? Text join function. And with text join function, we can actually have a second argument, and that's to ignore the empty ones. So I'm going to say true, ignore the empty ones, which, gonna, which is going to ignore this blank so it doesn't build those extra things in there. And if I hit enter, see now we don't have to worry about those blanks. So I'm getting D equals CA, D equals MV, D equals MY. If I add another state here, uh, that is going to just do that. Now, I'm still missing some parts. What I need is another apostrophe in the end of this. So I'm going to go back here and basically just add my apostrophe in the end of that so I'm going to just do and and then in quotes I'm gonna do my apostrophe so that's I'm joining that last apostrophe in the end and what I also need in the beginning it should say D equals Illinois right so I'm gonna go in the beginning and I'm just gonna say D equals and then apostrophe and quote and and join this stuff to it. So there it is. So it says now as a result of this, I'm getting D equals IL, D equals CA, or D equals MV, or D equals MY, or D equals FL. And if I have less, it will automatically just get me what I need out of that. So that gets me that or part of the string. So I'm going to just go grab this whole thing copied escape out of that so I'm gonna go back to my function so that whole thing was this D equals D equals D equals that whole part so I'm gonna remove it out of here and after that I'll do my and sign and paste so I'm gonna join that thing that I made up I'm gonna hit enter And now it should work that way. So now I'm getting Illinois, California, and Nevada. If I go and add Florida to this, let's see if we have any Florida sales. Well, it seems like we may not have any Florida sales. Let's try to get a state that we have. I'm going to go OH. So go back here. Try this. Uh, 
thinking about it there it is we're getting all the results if i also want to add let's say this one or this one to my results all i have to do is just go and keep typing all the states i want to get so apparently that ah oh, there it is it was just again resizing because there are too many rows so every time it's not fitting in your sheet in the number of rows you already have it's automatically going to add as long as it's not getting outside of the total range of cells you can use it will just automatically just take that little time and then it will expand there it is so technically if you don't like it on this particular tab you could move it to its own tab and then have this list on this tab so that way there's no limit to how far you can go which is possible as well so uh, again it, that's completely up to you so but uh, another adjustment I'm gonna do here that part I don't care about what I do care about is that I have this extra concatenation between this text and this text so I could just remove this part and just leave it like this where D equals that to improve on this formula and now again this should just work fine so if I don't want all of these states let's say I just want these two I just type them in and there it is we have the results just like that so that will create a SQL in like statement only with this trick way to get it done now keep in mind that if whatever you're searching for is a number not text then you you're not going to need this extra apostrophes so if you're looking at everything that's 1 5 15 17 24 the numbers basically then make sure that when you join the string together you don't do the apostrophes because it's basically number not text anyways i hope you enjoyed this videos please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video